In this tutorial, we'll take a closer look at the multi-resolution modifier. Now you've seen me use this quite often as I like that tool quite a bit, but in this case we'll use it for sculpting mode and I'll show you where its real strength lies besides just using it for making nice edge loops and things like that. So I have a cube in the scene, but let's leave this for now and go into uh, texture mode and we're going to go back into Blender Render for the moment. And instead of using this light here, I'll move this off onto another layer down here and I'll use these lights and this I'm going to use these spots in the scene because I'm going to do a little sculpting with this All right here I'm going to just press RR and move that a little bit towards that cube and move this one up maybe move it over and I'll press RR move that into the scene like that almost got it there alright so I know it's pointing on there then I want to go into Blender game of course for the moment and get our shaders like this okay and then notice the shadows don't show up and that's because I was in blender cycles mode and that's and also because these materials I had set within cycles and notice it has this material so I have to get rid of this material in here and put a material within blender render well let's try it with this one all right let's get rid of this one and give that a new material And that's showing up. Why the plane is not showing up is we'll try, try and turn it around. Up oh, there it was upside down. That happens sometimes when you're uh, scaling. When you put a th something in the scene, like for instance, if I put a plane in the scene like this, and there it is. And if I have my mouse here and I go to scale, I press S and I go to scale it. Everything will be okay. You'll you'll be able to see it from the top like that but if somehow I had instead have my mouse over here and I pressed S and I crossed through the surface accidentally and it went to zero and then I went around here it actually flips the thing upside down see that you lose the normals flip to the other side alright so that's just something to be aware of because that that happens to me still sometimes all right so now we're back to the cube and the reason I have it in here is because I want to use the traditional spot so I can real-time sculpt and see what's going on in here and it gives me a nice shadow to work with so let's go get the multi-resolution modifier and I'll show you really where its value is normally what I've done in the past you've seen me work I've, I subdivided it like this maybe a couple times and then I've applied it and had access to it. But in this case, I'm not going to apply it. All right, I'm just going to actually subdivide it another time so we can see all the facets in here in this mode. And then I'm going to go into sculpt mode and I'm going to get the tool set with my T key. And then I have my, I'm going to crank up the strength a little bit, maybe turn the radius down a little bit. Uh, all right, and then from here, I'll sculpt just on this surface, just a little bit. And we'll go crank it up, maybe make the radius a little bit more. So you can see it. There it is. So it's sculpting the, the surface like this. But notice what's happening. Let me crank it up even more. Let me subdivide it even more. All right. And now you see the surface is even more defined, like here. All right, but at the same time, it just so happens that since I don't apply it, multi-resolution means that it's essentially storing multiple resolutions of this object. And what we're doing is we're looking at, in sculpt mode, I'm at level five, this high, highest level of subdivision right now. Though if I move over into object mode, we're gonna look at the preview mode, which is only two levels of subdivision right in here. So there's the same object, but you can see if I change the preview mode, it's actually going to be the same thing. So you see multiple resolutions are the same. So I'll go back into sculpt mode for a minute. And even within sculpt mode, maybe I'm just, maybe I'm at a portion of the, of the object where I don't need to worry about so much resolution. Maybe I want a coarser resolution. So I'll just change it in sculpt mode down to three, level three. Maybe I'm just going to change this one overall, you know, region like this without any affecting all the others and then I'll go back into the next level of sculpting and if you look there's a little bump right there underneath these bumps that have protruded out but I didn't have to 
They didn't mess with all the details up in here, which I can now since I'm at the higher resolution. All right? And then render is the same way. If I change this back down to, well, if I leave it at 5 now and I press F12, it's going to render at this level. Or if I, let's see if my camera's pointing there or not. Yeah, it is. There it is. All right. So it's rendering at that level, but if I just drop it down to F, render 1, it's that basic shape here like this. Okay, well, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.